So you can see here that I have a pro project opened up inside of Blender. And if I were to click my middle mouse button and click and drag, you can see that I can move them around. But let's say I want to go ahead and then see a certain angle. Then what I can do is I can click here and then if I were to press in X, you can see that it shows the X axis from straight. If I were to go around into Z, click there, you can see that it shows Z axis from straight and so forth. As you can see, if I were to click it, that is how it behaves. So if I were to go over here onto X, you can see that uh, there's a shortcut that you can use. For example, you can press three on your keyboard to get the same effect. So uh, you have to do this on your numpad area and you should make sure that your num lock is on. So if I were to press, let's say, for example, seven, you can see that it rotates around. So I can go around and press nine, eight right here. So that's how you actually can rotate around from the uh, Y axis right here. And you can press uh, two right here to rotate around on the other axis. You can press one right here to go on to Y axis, three over here to go to X axis, four over there right here to see uh, it from the right side. You can see that you can rotate around onto the right side right here, press six to go around onto uh, the left side and so forth. If I were to go around over here and press five, then it toggles between orthographic mode. That means now you can see that uh, this is parallel. So the vanishing point for what you see on the now, viewport is infinite when you're actually using the orthographic mode. So if I were to press five, you can see that this is what happens. So if I were to zoom in, you can see that this is the shorter line. This has a shorter line right here and this has a bigger line. That means the pers perspective effect is coming into play. So over here, the cube on the front is bigger. Over here on the cube at the back is smaller. But if I were to press five, you can see that everything becomes parallel right here. So the cubes at the end and cubes at the beginning is uh, uh, just like this. Uh, it is actually parallel to each other. And that is how you can work around with this. If I were to press zero, you can see that you can actually see the camera perspective. So you know the render reason for what will be rendered out. And that is how you can use the uh, numpad shortcut for viewport views inside of Blender. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.